Hey guys, you are making a good progress. Now we are going to learn our next topic and the topic is merge and join data table on my screen. We need to understand are they both same when you do a merge data table and a join data table. Is the output is going to be the same or different? So for that you need to have a good understanding. So let's see this in this example and I'm going to help you with couple of important points so that any similar kind of question comes you will be able to answer it. So let's continue. So here in this question they are using two different data tables and these are the columns. Each data table consists of an employee name, ID and location. This is quite simple. The data table is shorted on the ID. So there is an ID column it will be shorted either in ascending or descending order and once it's sorted it has to the final output should appear something like this okay so are you going to first do a join data table are you first going to do a merge data table then you do a short so there are you know quite confusing this is not at all confusing if you know how the merge works how the join data table works okay so in this video i am going to first help you with that then we are trying to, we will try to answer that okay so let's see so here, what what i am doing you know what you also can do open an excel file and exactly shown in the picture in that question right okay pause it here and create a similar two tables so here in the sheet one i have created the first one in the sheet two i have created the second one and in the output i would like to see in the sheet three fine okay so these are the two different data tables now what i want to do i am using a excel pro application scope i am reading that excel file simple and then I am doing a read range of the sheet 1, the first data table I am storing in DT1. Look at the property. Same thing, I am reading the sheet 2, the second data table and storing it in the DT2. Okay. And then I am using a merge data table activity. You can drag and drop the merge data table activity. Now here in the merge, there is a basic difference you need to understand. In the merge, it only asks you two things give me the source give me the destination data table the source is dt2 let's say and i'm adding it to dt1 so that means what would happen dt1 table right dt2 dt1 becomes the uh, destination so this will become your destination and this table the second table is becoming source so what this will do this is supposed to you know get all the data from here and supposed to add it below here that is the function of merge okay we will see that okay so let me keep it as it is control g and save it okay so the this is how it is there now i am using a merge data table and the output will be stored in remember the, the destination you need to be able to see similar graph is given uh, picture is given to you you need to understand the final output will be stored here what dt1 so for me to write the output what should i select dt1 i should select right so i should say dt1 so the final output will be written got it all right so let's run this and see the output so where it's going to write in the sheet 3 it's going to write okay so let the execution start so this basic understanding is highly required what is the difference between merge and join so now we are learning merge merge means one below the other that that if you remember this way one destination table and source table will be added below that okay like this you should remember okay so the execution has completed let's go back to the excel sheet so in the sheet 3 what you saw the first table and this is the second table so what exactly it's doing right the second table starts with cut so what happened cut has been added here so exactly so merge is the job the job of the merge is to in the destination table it's going to add the source table below it remember what is the keyword you should remember below it merge means adding something below the main table is it clear very good now let's check the how the join data table works okay so let me delete this okay now let's let me show you the sequence too in this one i am doing the same thing i am reading both the tables and i am using a join data table activity in the join data table activity you must click on the join wizard so what is this in the merge you saw you are using only two data tables 
one is the source and the other one is the destination here what we are doing we are providing both the tables as input and the output is written in a different table you can write it also in the same table doesn't matter but generally good practice is to create a new table so there could be also different questions coming hey i would like to see this kind of output let's say if i ask you if i ask you these are the two different tables from this table if the id matching on both the tables i just wanted to see that output what i am asking the common value i want whose id is available here in this table and whose id is also available in this table only that specific data i want okay so how how the, how can you retrieve the, that kind of a data through join data table let me show you because join data table has a condition in merge you don't have a condition it will simply taking the data and putting it below it okay as per the column it's putting it below it if you have separate columns it will create another separate column right to it but its main job is to keep the data below the main table that's where you go for a merge when it comes to join you can go for a condition so this is different from the merge so what is the condition here i am saying id equals to id and i am using a inner join that means if in both the table whatever is common i should get it so what should i select inner okay so let's see the output you will slowly understand so let me run this did i delete the output of the sheet 3 yeah i have deleted let me save and just leave it as it is okay so the execution will start so understanding right merge means adding the source table below the destination table below okay just keep that word in your mind below it okay imagine that so now the join data table execution has completed let's go back to the excel file so what is happening here when i did a inner join inner means only when the condition meets whatever that condition could be not equals to equals to it could be anything so here i said equals to so equals to means it has given the common you know values from both the files this is how the output has come what is the difference in margin join the margin is to put it in the side right but the join data table is keeping it beside it making a difference merge means keeping it below and join means keeping it beside it so there is a destination table uh, there, there is there is a uh, there are two tables we are dealing with right and the output is dt3 so in the dt3 how the output is coming it is having the output of dt1 and dt2 both the values it's showing so this is let's say dt1 and this is the dt2 and only thing it is doing it is changing the column name to name 1 id 1 location 1 automatically because you cannot have the same column name in an excel so it is this replacing with underscore one if there are multiple such thing it will now underscore two underscore three it will come but again in general sense it is having both the columns from both the data tables and showing the output one common value so you can see multiple times the column value has come so that is the purpose of join when you have to have uh, join what it does dt1 dt2 both the things it is keeping okay let's say i will change the condition here slight a bit i'll go to join wizard and here if i say not equals to not equals to not equals to means what would come apart from that everything else should come from both the data table so let's click on okay so when this kind of images are given then you should be able to imagine okay this should be the output so what 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 is the output i am expecting all right i said not equals right let's so let's see the output okay so what happened because, because i said not equals to uh, uh space 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 uh, so it is comparing each data with uh, the dt1 and writing so you can see the uh, output has come something repeatedly right lola 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 so these are the actual values which are very different from the one another so this is not equals to okay similar way you can go and practice couple of other options just to see how the differences are coming using different columns so uh, this much is understood on the uh, join data table so the current current has gone uh, i hope you are able to see me okay um, now what is the other thing uh, that we need to learn what exactly the output is being asked from you the, they are asking this kind of output so shall i go for a merge or a join data table you saw the examples right now here it should be below one below the other right you can see all the data is are there krish krish so it should be one below the other 
it should not be beside it for sure so i should go for a merge data table right so now one by one you are framing your answer what is your answer the very first thing so here i have actually created the answer uh, what i am doing i have read the data okay i have read the data and then i am using a merge data table so where that output would be there dt1 so now the dt1 will contain the dt the first data table and second data table one below the other okay so it has got everything after that what i will do i will do a shorting by what by the column name id so what would happen the output which has got entire data will be now shorted would will be now shorted as per the id once it's shorted what i'm doing i'm using a remove data column which column i'm removing id so if i do this if you look at this first thing what i did i shorted so you can imagine so in the exam you don't have a luxury to try out anything right in your mind only you have to imagine when i do a merge one below this this data will come card krish lola will come below this then i am doing a shorting as per the id so what would happen and the shorting has been done if you see lola 1923 so this is the small number and uh, talia uh, was 752 this is a bigger number so it is done in descending order so what i have done in the in the short data uh, uh, data table activity here on the right hand side i have selected descending getting it so practically do it descending so that's why it gets shorted in the descending order and then once it uh, shorted in the descending order then all I have to do remove this id column so that i have achieved by using the remove data column activity getting it so if i run this i should expect us exact output so let me quickly delete it save it okay so the execution must have started so getting it right how how to frame you know in the exam you have to on your mind itself you have to think okay so once you have done the practical it will be easy for you to think okay remove data column right range is completed now let's go back to the sheet now you can see exactly the way it is there is it matching the output talia roman pays chris kurt chris okay talia roman okay it's matching the output so what is the correct answer for this first is i have to do a merge so anywhere i see join that's a wrong thing right i will not use it so the, there are two options here which has a merge data table merge data table after that i should short it not remove and finally i should remove the data column right so this should be the correct answer so getting it right so if any such conditions questions will come hey this is the condition and i would like to achieve uh, another table something like this so what are the things i should select if it is a joint data table what should i select if it so in joint data table one more thing i forgot to uh, really teach you is joint data table there is something called inner left and full okay so what is left so if i do left means the entire left data table will come that is dt1 the entire dt1 will come and and as per your condition let me keep it as equal okay and as per the condition whatever the matches that will come so let's run this and see the output before that so all this exercise you must do it okay save and let me run this this i'm just using the join data table okay so uh, based on the condition the left because i have selected left so the left data table will be kept and the common value as per the condition will come so you will see but remember join data table will have the dt2 columns also will come with the underscore that is the problem with joint data table i mean not problem i mean that's how it appears uh, so let's see that so you can see all this has come and the common value lola has come which is 1923 in both the table 1923 1923 so based on the condition it will come and it will keep all the values from the left data table so left data table all the values are there okay and if you there is no right uh, join there is only left join and then um, in ui here and then there is a full join full join means both the data table will be kept um uh, and the condition also will be so look at the output of this when i select full oh i forgot to delete the sheet 3 quickly let me delete it save it we should throw an error okay so because i did a full join that means you should have both the table data with the common data okay so what is happening here lola is a common data another three value from the first data table another th different values from the other data table and one common value getting it so the number of rows has gone down by one 
okay so the so that is the um, that is how you have to practice and you should have a complete knowledge around differences between so what is the key thing that we have learned just to keep it in mind merge means it will add the source data table under the destination data table join means it will add side by side okay based on the condition getting it if you remember this few key points it will be easy for you to evaluate the question and look for an you know select the proper answer so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet in our next content bye bye